Okay, I am gradually getting this thing put on here. I uh, went ahead and ground down my welds up here. Out here, um, I've been having trouble getting welds to stick, and I don't know if there was some something underneath here. I ground this pretty good. I thought I wiped it down with acetone and everything else, but still having trouble getting them to stick. So I've been working really slow, uh, you know, doing a weld at a time, grinding it, uh, kind of inspecting it, making sure it's down good. I actually wound up uh, welding the corner right here on this one and uh, got a little burn there but I don't think it looks too bad. Uh, you know what I just heard pop? That well just popped loose while we were talking and I had already decided that was a good well. Dang that's annoying. Dang I say and dang again. Okay I got her mounted on here. I did those flush welds here. I had a hard time getting them to stick over here so I wound up doing uh, just doing a little tacking up along the edge also. Uh, which got it on there good and firm and I think I'm going to try a little body filler in that and right here where I had a rough place. In fact what I think I'm going to do is top and bottom just run a little body filler to try to make that look like there's not a seam. I'd like for it to look like one solid piece there. I think I mentioned before, maybe I didn't, but I decided to I'm going to add to the thickness of this thing by that much uh, which I've got a big cutting block that I want to incorporate into this thing when I rebuild it so that'll give me plenty of room to get that cutting block in there and then still have a backsplash on it so that actually should work out pretty good oh with that said I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get, put some more uh, filler in there and then we'll, uh, we'll go from that okay here she sits all welded on with a coat of uh, mud on her <laughs> I'm gonna let it, let it sit till the mud dries and then come out here and sand on it a bit. Uh, yeah, and then later, um, after I am feeling pretty good about this end of it, I'll attack the rest of it. I got a lot to do here. Uh, I think this might be a job for 415. There's some spots on here that are pretty rusty and uh, I don't really wanna cut out and be replacing a whole lot of metal. So I may just be coating a lot of stuff with 415. Uh, that's kind of what it's made for. And if I have to replace metal, I will. But we'll see how that goes. Anyway, I'm entirely happy with that. And with that said, I'm going to warm up a little bit, and then I might come back out here and work on that Jeep some more.